demand curves slope down from left to right. Price and quantity demanded are usually inversely related. At lower prices, consumers will consume more. Why is this? There are several answers. Marginal utility or benefit falls as more is consumed, and a lower price will encourage demand. Marginal is an important concept in economics and means the additional amount of something resulting from an economic action. In this case, marginal utility is the additional benefit gained from consuming one more unit of a good or service. Demand can also be explained in two other ways. If budgets are fixed, a lower price means more can be consumed, providing more real income. If prices of substitutes are constant, a lower price of good X encourages substitution. The two effects are called the income effect and substitution effect. Supply curves typically slope up from left to right. Price and the quantity supplied are positively related. At higher prices, producers will supply more. Why do they do this? There are several answers. Higher prices encourage output because there is an expectation of higher revenue, which is price times quantity and higher profit. Also, the marginal returns to higher output diminish and the marginal cost of production increases, hence a higher price is required to encourage output. A demand curve can shift to the right and increase, or to the left, a decrease. With an increase, more goods are demanded at all prices. Possible factors causing this include higher incomes, assuming a normal good, an increase in the price of a substitute, a fall in price of a complement, and changes in tastes and preferences. A shift to the left is a decrease. Fewer goods are demanded at all prices. Possible factors causing this include lower incomes, assuming a normal good, a fall in price of a substitute, an increase in the price of a complement, and changes in tastes and preferences. A shift to the left is a decrease in supply. Assuming the price is constant, a shift in supply to the left could be caused by less available raw materials, a reduction in the supply of labour, taxes on goods or services, or bad weather or other disruptive natural events. A shift of supply to the right. A shift to the right is an increase in supply. Assuming price is constant, a shift in supply to the right could be caused by more available raw materials, an increase in the supply of labour, subsidies on goods or services, a reduction in taxes, or unusually good weather or other beneficial supply factors. Economic theory states that there will be a single price at which demand equals supply, called equilibrium price. At equilibrium, the market clears. There are no shortages or surpluses. Marginal utility equals marginal cost. Economic welfare is maximised. Consumer surplus is the additional benefit to consumers when the price they pay is less than the maximum they are prepared to pay. Let's look at this graphically. A demand curve reflects the expected marginal benefit, or utility, derived by consumers when they purchase a given quantity. In consuming quantity, Q1, at price P1, the consumer is prepared to pay more than P1 for units between 0 and Q1. Consumer surplus is measured as the area from the price line up to the demand curve. If the price is P4, then the whole area is the value of the consumer surplus. The higher the price, the smaller the area for consumer surplus. Producer surplus is the additional benefit to producers when the price they receive is more than the minimum they are prepared to receive. A supply curve reflects the expected marginal costs incurred by producers when supplying goods and services. Covering costs is essential for firms. If the firm produces Q units, the marginal cost is at M. However, if the market price is P1, producer surplus of M to X is gained. Graphically, producer surplus is the area from the supply curve to the price line. Producer surplus is gained whenever revenue exceeds the minimum necessary to cover marginal cost. The higher the price, the greater the area of producer surplus. 
Economic welfare, as measured by consumer and producer surplus, is maximized at the market equilibrium price and quantity. At equilibrium, consumer surplus is maximized at area XAP and producer surplus is maximized at PA0. A non-equilibrium price, at P1, causes demand to contract and consumer surplus to shrink while producer surplus increases. However, there is a net welfare loss of area BAC. Here, surplus shrinks. At a lower price, at P2, supply contracts, so the output is at Q1. Producer surplus shrinks, but consumer surplus increases. However, the net effect is for welfare to fall to area BAC.